Yo, people, damn, let's dive straight into this one. I've been using this monitor for like the past three weeks. It's called the Lenovo Legion R45W30. And it's an ultra wide, but it's not like your standard 21 by 9 ultra wide. It's a 32 by 9 ultra wide. So these are the widest ultra wide monitors money can buy. Let's just dive straight in and show you what's really good. <music> Yes, people them. So for those that don't know, let me just go into specs real quickly. You got a 44.5 inch display, 32 by nine ultra wide, 1500 R curvature, 170 Hertz refresh rate maximum, but it's actually 165 native. And I'll go into that a little bit later. Display HDR 400 certified, and you've got AMD FreeSync Premium. Now on the back, in terms of ports, you got 3.5 millimeter. You've got three USB-A 3.2 Gen 2 ports for the USB hub, Ethernet porting, you've got a USB up port for the cable to connect it to the USB hub, you've got USB-C functionality which has given you display port, it's giving you PD fast charging for whatever device you're connecting and it can also give you connectivity to the USB hub via one port, you've got display port as well next to that 1.4 and you've got two HDMI 2.1 connectors. The stand and monitor arm that comes with the monitor are hella chunky, hella heavy. You can rely on it. It gives you a good bit of adjustability, which I'll go into a lot later. And you just clip it in the back. It's a fast release mechanism. It's all good to go. Now, one thing I noticed straight away this monitor is that it is heavy. So when you're looking to mount this on anything but the monitor stand that comes with the monitor itself, you're gonna need a monitor stand that is capable of holding basically a TV sized monitor fam. So yeah, make sure you don't get no flimsy monitor stand to mount this monitor too. Now in terms of adjustability, we're pretty much good to go fam. You've got the left and right thing, you've got the slide up and down thing, and you've also got the tilt up and down thing. So you can get the perfect angle that you need this monitor to be in with the stand that's included. The only thing you don't get is rotate, but given the fact that this is a 32 by nine monitor in the first place, there's no space to actually rotate it anyway. So it's got everything that it needs to have. Now, obviously, first thing I've got to do when I get a new monitor is put it into the gaming setup and check that the resolution and the refresh rate matches what it says on the box. And we've got the 5120 by 1440p here, as you can see. So that's the dual quad HD, as far as I'm concerned. The box says 170 hertz, but on here, we can only go up to 165 hertz. So for me, that means that this is a native 165 hertz monitor. And if you want to get to 170 hertz, you can overclock it to that but i don't really play around with the overclocking refresh rate of monitors i like it to just natively have the option in windows for me to press or click or select or whatever kind of thing so just bear that in mind it's not actually 170 hertz it's 165 native now this monitor does have a display hdr certification i think it's 400 i don't really believe in HDR at this point. Well, not with monitors that are not OLED anyway. Um, this is a VA panel, obviously. So it does quite well with its contrast ratio and deep blacks and bright whites, but I don't know. I've just not seen an experience in comparison to what I've usually seen on an OLED screen. So it's good, but I've seen better. Now, another point where this monitor is really strong are the viewing angles. You'll notice as I move around with the camera, no matter what angle I'm looking at the monitor, there's no degradation in brightness and there's no degradation in color and contrast on this monitor screen. So as far as I'm concerned, the viewing angles are proper. And that's probably helped by the curvature of the screen in the first place. Now it goes without saying that playing games in ultra wide on PC is just an experience you cannot get on console. Once you've played ultra wide, it's so hard to go back. You can see so much more of what's happening on the screen in comparison to a normal 16 by nine monitor setup. I was banging out 2-2 Assassin's Creed Mirage and I think everything looked Leng fam. 
flipping what resolution up there you had the refresh rate doing its thing colors popping i was playing in hdr but i didn't really notice a difference when i turned the hdr off but just look at this fam this this is what gameplay should be like and again i say you can't get this kind of experience banging games out on a ps5 or xbox this is strictly dickly pc settings you understand now next up man played some ghost recon and again this is one of those games that looks so much better when you're banging it out in ultra wide ghost recon is one of them games that has lots of enemies hidden in the corner so now that you've got so much more screen to look at you can see everything without having to constantly readjust the camera it's perfect for little tactical shooters like this now if you're not playing on pc let's say for example you're playing on xbox or playstation this is what you're going to get big massive black bars on either side of the screen it doesn't really look too good it's a bit annoying it is possible to stretch the picture which is gonna give you something weird that looks like this but uh, I, I don't know fam it depends on the game's art style itself I guess with Prince of Persia you can kind of get away with it but yeah more time the game's just gonna look mad stretched out it's just gonna look and feel weird now of course man had to load up the streets of London and hit that Watch Dogs Legion which looked wicked again in ultra wide resolution. Again the PS5 and Xbox versions don't support ultra wide resolution. You have to be playing the PC version and hitting it at 5120 by 1440p. Your PC does need to be reasonably decent in order to hit that resolution. If you can't hit that full resolution you can also go down to 3840 by 1080p which will give you a similar 32 by 9 aspect ratio but you know you're gonna get that kind of 1080p resolution so it won't look as sharp as it does now but still hella playable which is what i'm looking for at the end of the day and just look how sick Watch Dogs legion looks you can see everything that's going on in the corner you've got obviously everything that's going on in the middle yeah fam ultra wide i'm gonna try and convert you guys right now fam it's definitely been the way forward now another thing I found this monitor is really good at is using it for video editing fam. I can't stress enough, once you go ultra wide, it's very hard to go back. I'm used to seeing my whole timeline on the screen at one time, yeah? Like every single project file on in the top left, one time and a big ass preview on the right hand side. I'm using Filmora Video Editor by the way. Um, yeah man, once you go ultra wide, you can't go back. I feel like the color accuracy is good, the brightness is good. Everything is more than good enough for me to edit whatever I need to edit on it. Now I'm gonna let you guys get on with your day, but just a couple other things about the monitor that I didn't get to squeeze into the eight minute mark. And that is one, the monitor has its own built-in speakers. So if you don't have any external speakers, you can use the monitor's built-in speakers. They're a bit tinny, a bit boring, but they're better than nothing. Another thing is that this monitor has dual screen mode. So you can either have HDMI 1 on the left hand side of the screen in 16 by 9 at up to 2K resolution, 165 hertz. And you can have something else like HDMI 2 or maybe a display port connection on the right hand side of the screen or vice versa, swap them around as you like so that you essentially have two monitors in one on the desk kind of thing so um yeah i feel that that's quite a good if you don't want to be using the whole monitor to do just the one thing you can split it between two different devices pc and the xbox playstation and xbox maybe a playstation and the pc you get the message in it um yeah nah man it's a very versatile monitor ultra wide master race stand up